Joined now by Hockey Central's John Shannon. John, let's start with the Kings. They already have a number one goaltender in Jonathan Quick. Yes, he was out injured for a long time, but he came back on Saturday. Why trade for Ben Bishop? Well, I think, Brendan, quite frankly, this is an insurance policy. I, I don't think that the Kings were in any position to think that Jonathan Quick was 100% healthy and Peter Budai could answer the call. Let's face it, the injury early in the season to Quick put a huge, huge asterisk beside this season. You're right. Yesterday against Anaheim, Jonathan Quick was short of spectacular. He was very good all afternoon. But you know what? 21 games to go in the regular season for the Los Angeles Kings. They're outside looking in right now, and you have to think they have to win 15 or 16 to get to the playoffs. So you end up with Ben Bishop in goal. Not a bad thing if you're Daryl Sutter. You don't have to fret about, well, I have to run quick through 21 games. It's not going to happen. You can go to the second number one starter. We know what Ben Bishop can do. We saw him go to the Stanley Cup final. And, yeah, he's a little injury prone, too. But when you can stagger two number one goaltenders through 21 games in a compressed schedule, you've got a chance to win. As I said, 15 or 16 victories the Kings are going to need to get into the playoffs in the 21. And, by the way, Four of those games are against the Calgary Flames starting on Tuesday. It's going to be interesting down the stretch in the Pacific. You make some great points. How about the Wild? I mean, with this acquisition of Martin Hansel now, it looks like they're all in. What does he bring to them? There is no doubt they're all in. All you have to look is down the middle for the Minnesota Wild and understand how good this team could be. They can actually think about moving either Grand or Coyle, probably Coyle, to the wing. Koivu, Stahl, Hansel. This is a group of centers that is as good as any in the National Hockey League. And what does Hansel bring to the ticket? Well, I'll tell you what. He's not the greatest skater, but he can certainly skate enough for this club. Great in the face-off circle. Wonderful on the power play. And that big body in front of the net, he's going to be a factor for Bruce Boudreaux's team. Really building them up. Does this make Minnesota the favorite in the West, then? Well, listen, you can talk about the West all you want. They have to get out of the central division. Let's face it, this is a team underachieved in the playoffs time after time after time. And like his dad, Chuck Fletcher's not afraid to make a move at a key point. He's making a key move because they have to get to the third or the Stanley Cup final, Brendan, because that's important. The window's closing on a lot of the veterans for the Wild to get Hansel into the fold, to get them through Chicago, through St. Louis, through Nashville, mm -hmm. heavy teams, all of them, is important for the Minnesota Wild. Thanks so much for coming in. Hockey Central's John Shannon. Time is running out for NHL GMs as the trade deadline is fast approaching. Hockey Central has it covered all day Wednesday, starting bright and early right here on Sportsnet and distracting you at the office via Sportsnet now.